Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Locum23. You're joining me for Choice of the Stories You Play, Royal Romance, Book 1, Chapter 2. Welcome to Good Nord Cordonia. After packing your bags and leaving your New York apartment behind, you find yourself on a plane with Maxwell and Drake. Say goodbye to New York and hello to Gordonia. I can't believe this is actually happening. Believe it. We'll be landing soon, ready or not. And if you're not ready, those ladies at the court are going to eat you alive. Yes, don't scare her, Drake. You okay, Riley? Honestly, I'm terrified. I'm not afraid of anything. They should be afraid of me. Uh, I'm not afraid of anything. Nice star. <laughs> we'll see once we land. Drake liked what you said. Certain choices will boost your relationship with him, build your relationship, or fall in love. Choice is yours. I don't get why you're being so grim about this. Look, uh, no offense, but I've seen girls like you come and go. It never ends well. Not for you. Not for Liam. Not for the royal family. Riley's not some crown chaser. Drake, I'm different than those girls. The crown doesn't hurt. To be fair, you're more my type. Um... So if we pick that, does it mean we go home? I'm different than those girls. The crown doesn't hurt. I'm different than those girls. Let's go with that. Liam being a prince doesn't matter at all to me. That's exactly the kind of naive thinking that's going to land you in trouble here. Just then, the pilot announces the plane's descent. Hey, look! You can see Cordoni out the window. Riley! You won't want to miss this! Oh, it's beautiful. But, you know, you gotta be a pompous ass to build your palace at the top of the hill where everyone can see you and you can look down on your commoners. I'm just, <laughs> that's how I feel. That's Cordonia? It's something out of a fairy tale. It's smaller than I expected. <laughs> Oh, ouch. So, um, it's something out of a fairy tale. Why not? I mean, everything right now up until now is out, out of a fairy tale, technically. That sparkling ocean, the swaying trees. If you burst in a song, I'm jumping out of the plane. I kind of want to burst in a song now. I'm just saying it's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. One car ride later, you step out on the grounds of... The Royal Palace. Welcome to your home for the next few months, Riley. This is where I'm staying? I didn't realize I'd be living in the palace. Most of the nobility live here, Well, the social scene is underway, including all the ladies vying for Liam's hand. Yeah, living under one roof just makes it easier to attend the rose ceremony later. Maxwell rolls his eyes. Jake's just kidding, at least about the roses. Anyway, I'll show you to your room, Riley. This is my cue to take off. See you around, if you're lucky. Why are you being such a pompous ass? Follow Maxwell into the palace, where you climb the grand staircase. Maybe he's just jealous. So, exactly, this is my question. What is the deal with Drake? Why is he so jaded? Oh, don't mind him. Drake's never really fit in. Not used to courtly life? Uh, definitely not. He's a commoner. He's always been an outsider here, even if he is Liam's best friend. Still, though, I mean, come on. At the top of the stairs, Maxwell turns down a corridor. 
Your room's here in the west wing, in case you need anything from me or my brother. Our rooms are just a couple doors down. I didn't know you had a brother. Yeah, an older brother. His official title is Duke Bertrand Beaumont. As eldest brother, he's the hare, and I'm the spare. You'll see him tonight. He'll be excited to meet you. Maxwell stops short in front of an ornate door. This is it. Here's your room. You enter a lavish guest room with full-length paintings, gilded ceilings, and a bed of fluffy pillows. Wow. As a royal guest, you are spared no luxury. So... Nothing's stopping me from jumping on the bed, clearing out the mini bar. I'm gonna go jumping on the bed. Only your dignity. Live a little, bro. Perfect. You run and jump onto the bed, sighing happily as you sink into the mattress. Ah, oh, this is so much better than a memory foam. I'll let you settle in before your big debut tonight. My what? I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that you're not used to all of this. Uh, the first event of the social season is tonight. The Masquerade. It's the ball where all the suitors will be presented to the prince, as well as to the king. Not everyone dresses in costume, but you can sure be sure the ladies competing for Liam's attention will be pulling out all of the stops. Maxwell looks doubtedly at your modest-looking suitcase. I'm guessing it's too much to ask if you've got a costume or fancy ball gown in there? I packed a dress? Well, I wasn't sure, so I made an appointment for you at the Palace Boutique. Maybe you'll find something you like better there. I'm sure at the cost of diamonds. I'll check it out. Remember, tonight is very important. It's your chance to make a first impression on all the influential people at the court, and to stand apart from everyone else. Don't worry, I've got this. Your mouth says you do. Your outfit because no diamonds says you don't. A few minutes later, you step into the palace's boutique, and... Oh! You see a woman in her underwear, holding a dress. You act like this is a shock! I'm just gonna go with your gorgeous? I mean, eep! I mean, <laughs> sorry, this is my appointment. You're gorgeous. Uh, th thank you? <laughs> You're quite lovely, too. I'm Hannah. I suppose you're also here to prepare for the masquerade tonight? Wow, thank you, Pixelberry. Hannah liked what you said. No shit! Since you're here, and not already dressed, I must assume that you're just like me, searching desperately for something to wear. More or less. The seamstress seems to be running late, but I can show you around. This boutique has the most exquisite gowns. Let me just slip my dress on. Hannah pulls on the dress she was holding. She struggles to get the zipper fully up. I should help her tease her. Eh, help her. Need a hand? That would be amazing. Yup. Slide the zipper up, and Hannah picks up a matching mask and settles it on her face before turning to you and grinning. Thank you. Not many girls here are like you. Helpful? Nice. Ah, uh, this dress is perfect. Hannah spins for you, her full skirt twirling. Now, what about you? One must have a mask for the masquerade. Have you seen the angel costume? You look amazing in white. Or there's also a red one, if you're feeling more devilish. Don't worry, I'm sure Pixelberry's picked out a wonderful dress of mustard for us. I'll take a look. So, there's the angel. 
Oh. Not bad. Not bad at all. And... I find nothing wrong with that dress. Really, I, I find nothing... I mean, of course, people are going to be... I like to be the angel. How, how, how derp of you. Proved... Oh, let's, let's read this. Prove to the prince that you'll be a match made in heaven. What about if he's a Fifty Shades of Blah kind of guy? <laughs> oh, God. Worst. Worst shit ever. I ain't even gonna get it. I'm not even gonna get into Fifty Shades. So hot, you're on fire. I'm gonna go with the blue. I mean, no shit, but... Item chosen. Will this do? It's not exactly a masquerade costume, uh, but it could work. Your face says it just looks splendid. You know, there are a lot of other dresses here. Did you want to take a look at anything else? This is your last chance. I'm ready to go. I see nothing wrong with her. I get it. It's all oh, it's a masquerade ball, but like Maxwell said, you don't need to wear a mask. And she's quite beautiful without it, so... Eh. That evening, Maxwell will meet you at the bottom of the main staircase. You're not wearing a mask? Mm, I didn't think I needed one. Besides, I want Liam to know I'm here. And you're not wearing a mask either, you know. Like I said, this is a masquerade isn't for me to impress anyone. I'm just here for the champagne. Oh, and, and to support you. He guide you to the doors of the Grand Ballroom. One other thing I should mention. As soon as you enter, you'll tell the herald your name and title so you can be announced. What is my title? You don't really have one, but since my family is sponsoring you, then you could technically be considered a lady? What else would she be, dude? Royalty is so stupid and yet complicated at the same time. Like, w would you just introduce her as Riley? <laughs> like, what? Entering Riley instead of Lady Riley. Rodales would Riley be. Or we could go with your hometown. I guess I should have asked before. What's your last name? I have to enter a last name? Shit. Um. Damn. Uh. Do I have to? God damn it, Pixelberry. Usually you just give us a last name with this crap, or at least a first name. I don't know. Um. I hate this because I hate games where you have to fake think of a name, especially when you're creating a character. This takes me forever. <sighs> you know what? We're just gonna go with the favorite size of my coffee drink. <laughs> Vinti. Riley Vinti. Or Vinde. Well, it's not a classic. It's not as classic a name as Catherine Elizabeth Middleton, but it'll do. What did you want from me, dog? What did you what did Pixelberry want? The doors to the grand ballroom are thrown open and you make your entrance. The Herald announces Maxwell and then turns to you. Just Riley <laughs> I just knew it. Uh, please announce me as Lady Riley Vinti. Why not? As I'm about to sneeze. The Herald announces you, and you walk into the ballroom. I've got to talk to Bertrand uh, for a second. You'll be okay on your own, right? Just mingle. N mingle. Right. I can do that. Looking out across the ballroom, you see Drake standing alone, and on the other side, Hannah and a group of finely dressed ladies. Hmm... Drake has rubbed me the wrong way, and I kind of like Hannah, so you know what? Screw it. 
Hello again. I'm glad to see you made it. Thanks. So, this is a masquerade. What do you think of it? The masquerade is... wonderful. A little overwhelming. Oh, wonderful. I can tell you're going to enjoy yourself here. Uh, to be honest, it's very refreshing to be around someone so excited. Fancy galas are just second nature to you? When you've come to s as many as I have, they can lose their charm. Unless, of course, you find the right companions. She's about to say more when someone catches her eye from across the room. Uh, please excuse me, there's someone I need to greet. But maybe we can talk later? You nod and walk over to where Drake is standing, alone. So, you showed up after all. Well, you're as charming as ever. <laughs> Compared to most of the nobles here, I'm your best friend. I doubt that. Drake, everyone here is perfectly nice. I believe you. Well, technically we haven't met everyone. Uh, I'm just going to go with I believe you. How about that? That's the first thing, smart thing you've said. And you just made it all go away, Drake. You just made it all go away. You are becoming a pompous ass in my ass. Thanks. Look, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just trying to help. You have a very peculiar way of helping. I'm just saying that the things that I wish someone would have told me a long time ago. Ahem. Pardon me, but I must absolutely steal her away. Hello, Hex. <laughs> a strange woman takes your arm and pulls you off. Hey. Forgive me for being forward, but I've never seen you here before. I always notice when the heralds announce a new name. I may get a point to know all the ladies of the court. I'm Lady Olivia Vanderwool Nevrakis, Duchess of Lythogos. Lady Riley Venti? I can't say I'm familiar with your house. It must be Novio. Well, seeing as you're new here, girl of the court, let me give you some advice. When you're presented to the king, you should kiss his shoe when you curtsy to him. R really? It's Cordonian custom to show deep respect and rever reverence for the monarchy. You're so lucky that I was here to warn you, otherwise you'd look completely ridiculous. Yes, I'm sure we can really trust what this bitch has to say. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks. Just then, Maxwell rushes back to your side. Prince Liam is here. Uh, ready to see him again? You look across the crowded ballroom, and there he is. Ben 2.0. Do you think he'll be glad to see me? Only way, one way to find out. Go, talk to him. <sighs> Will Prince Liam be happy to see you in Cordonia? Find out in the next chapter. This is rivaling? If I was to remove my commentary right now from the whole thing, read it straight out and just forward, this would actually be shortest book it would rival the Love Hacks one. It would really rival it. So, wow. Um, Pixelberry, you made us wait two days for this. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be doing my recap right after this, by the way. Please tune in for that. Um, it's going to go over all the books this week that are up on my channel. And then I also have a very important message um, at the end of that video that um, I need each viewer to hear. And um, it's pertinent about my channel so um yeah stay tuned to that um otherwise i hope you all did enjoy the content remember to like comment share and subscribe because if you're not already you'll miss out on some great content that's already up present and um future content as well otherwise 
remember to stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.